All right, so now that we have the lock housing in hand, there are a couple of steps we have to do to get to the roll pin. Now that roll pin is behind this cap. It's hidden. And this cap is part of the transponder system. And it's currently being held in by four screws, four Phillip screws. There's two, a third, and a fourth. All right, so now we're gonna take off this black cap Let's get this wire out the way. Just put some pressure. And lift up. I'm gonna get my little wall. I know it's overkill. I'm gonna start taking out these screws. Right, the first two screws are out. There's two more. There's one right here. And those three will take this first piece off. Now we have one screw left for the second part. Alright, so now that we got the black cap off, Right over here in this first hole, that's where the roll pin is. And this roll pin is holding in this ignition. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the vise. And we're gonna draw that roll pin out and pull the lock out. All right, I just want to give you a close up on how I got this roll pin out. So here's the lock. Roll pin is right here. See it? It's pretty light outside. I took my drill bit, went right alongside of it. Went down far enough. Took my ice pick and you have to pry it out. Now this took me three minutes to get out. So you're gonna see it gradually come up. When you come up far enough like that, the whole thing comes out. Well, here's the ignition. Now there's another rope pin here. Right in here. We gotta use the center punch to get it out. So I'm gonna take this inside where I can show you how to take this apart. All right, so now we have access to the second roll pin. Now this one can be tricky because to get this roll pin out, you have to go down. And to get this down, this has to be turned because there's no room for the center punch to go in. Now you can go this way, but the pin will hit here and this part still won't come out. So what I do, let me zoom in. There's the hole for the center punch. I just make a line, make a line, make a line all the way through, and then I drill a hole right in here. And I zoom in. That's right on the roll pin. So I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna take a small center punch, one by 16. 
I'm going to line it up. And hopefully you can see. Take a little screwdriver. It'll hold it really good. It's better if I had it on a vise, but you wouldn't see it like this. Let me zoom in. And there it goes, it's starting to come out. It just flew out, so hopefully I can find that. Once you do that, this little piece right here comes right out. And I think I need a key to take this out, but let's see. Yeah, so let me pause this and grab the key. All right, we have the key, so let's stick it in. Let's pull it out carefully. Zoom in a little bit. You can see that one wafer right here sticking up. And that's preventing the ignition from turning. Let's go ahead and take this key out. We have to pull this out. It's not coming out very easy for some reason. It's probably bent. Here we go. Totally worn out and bent. So once you get that wafer out, also get rid of the spring. Let's put the key back in. Put these wafers down. All right, that looks good. Now, if you're a regular person or a locksman who doesn't have a pin kit, you're just going to leave it just the way it is. That's it. Lock is fixed. Let me find that roll pin and let's put this back together. All right, so I put back on the roll pin and I put back this tailpiece. Everything's working fine. I'm going to throw it back in the housing. Put this roll pin back. Push it down. And I'm gonna put a little metal epoxy in there. And uh, this is good to go. Hello everybody, it's Chris from Father and Son Locksmith. Thanks for watching our video on Honda Ignition Repair. If you're a customer out there whose ignition is jammed, can't turn the key, give us a call at 610-489-5755. We'll come to you, we'll remove your ignition, repair it, and reinstall it, and you'll be on your way. Thanks for watching our video. Please like and subscribe.